I promoted over 31 indie author books through 29 different little free library locations scattered throughout Columbus, Ohio, covering over 60 miles on foot. Now, if you're unfamiliar, Little Free Library is a nonprofit organization that promotes neighborhood book exchanges and publicly available bookcases. They have locations in 120 countries with 150,000 registered bookcases. Now, these books all get prime real estate showcased within these customized bookcases reaching tons of readers who could become your next biggest fan. All it costs is the price of a proof. Now, over the past eight years of being on YouTube, I've been fortunate to meet many talented authors who have gifted me a copy of their book. Sadly, I never read a single page. I'm entirely reading eBooks or listening to audiobooks. Rather than let these books go to waste, I'd rather get them into more readers' hands. So if I got a copy from you and you autographed it, I clipped it for a scrapbook. Now the real question is, how effective will one book be in some random little free library? I think the biggest metric we should pay attention to is how many people take the book. In three months, I'll revisit these locations to see which ones are gone and which ones have stayed. That time, I can move the book to another location to see if it'll get in front of a new audience. Without further ado, join me for a 60 plus mile journey across mid-Ohio along with my wife, Kelly, who's going to be helping out. So I'm going out my first big foray and getting rid of some of these books and putting them into some more capable hands and such. We're going to get ready to do the little libraries and our first little tour. We're going to do the first 10 books. It is 4.25 and we're heading out all right i am at stop number one it's on wall and buttles kelly grab a book out of my back <laughs> please grab a heavy one <laughs> so i've got winter's myth here uh, by gage greenwood gage is actually a former guest of my channel i picked it up and honestly I, I haven't read it once but hopefully somebody will as soon as i put it inside this library there we go Okay, I'm at Neil and Hubbard now. Kelly's gonna gift me with hopefully one of the bigger books here. Oh, good one, all right. So this one's from David Rees, uh, Fid's Crusade. Thank you so much, David, I appreciate this. I think this is gonna really grab some people's attention. So let's go ahead and slip this in the box. There we go. Okay, I'm at Neil and Third. And uh, here we coming up to the next library. Kelly, what do we have? Big shout out. Good friend of mine, Tony Jacobson. Fantastic read. Actually, I think I've got the audiobook version of this, uh, or maybe it was the ebook. But either way, it's time to find a good home for this. There we go. On the corner of, I'm on the corner of Seventh and Michigan now. Uh, Kelly's pulling out the bat, the book. She's ready to go get something to drink. Here's one from my boy William D. Latoria, Bill Latoria. Big shout out to Bill. Bill sent me a hardback versions of this, and so it seemed kind of redundant. So I pulled out the autograph page, kept it for myself. Now we're going to go ahead and find a home for it. There we go. Sitting right there with Martha Stewart. Very appropriate, I think. Sci fi and cooking. All right, I am on 6th and Denison now, so coming right up to it, and I'm gonna get Kelly to pull out one more book. I gotta tell you, it feels so much better right now. A little heavy with 10 books back there. Oh, it feels like she's got a chungus. Ah, right, here we go, good one. Uh, good friend of mine, Kelly Chase, Dishonor Among Thieves. Uh, great, great writer, by the way. Uh, she is my writing instructor and also my editor, uh, but I'm not gonna read this. I'll probably just read it on ebook, so here we go, let's find a good home. Looks like there's a blanket in there. That's really nice. Here's what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this right here, prime placement, right next to that blanket there, just in case you guys wanna grab that. Hit a little bit of a, a sticking point here. There is a location that they have on the map and there's nothing there. So we're walking around back and seeing if there's something in the back. If not, we'll just move it to the next place. Okay, we just walked around the corner and sure enough, it was right behind this place. Uh, let me just, just kind of turn it around here. It's like a freaking whole like gazebo type situation. See what I mean? Oh my gosh, it's like a whole reading nook. Really cool. If you're needing any kind of good reads, obviously come on over here. Looks a little worn, but 
I'm going to go ahead and bust out my good friend Susan Montgomery's book here, Ukulele Expressions and Lullaby. I actually did a video with this one. And uh, Susan's book's going to find a good home, hopefully, in here. Let's see if we can find some spot that's not completely crowded here. Got National Geographic's in it. I mean, for the most part, it is covered up by the elements, from the elements. See, there we go. So let's do this. We're going to open this one up. There we go. It's probably not the prime placement that I'd like to have, but, you know, it's definitely going to find a good home, hopefully. Anybody want some donuts? All right, boy. Uh, I forgot to mention the last one, but this one is actually at First and Summit here. And uh, nice neighborhood, actually. It's been a nice walk so far. Still got a couple books left. We're going to end up taking a break. But uh, here's one by Sarah Walde. She actually is a former guest of the Book Rescue, which, by the way, that is coming back probably in 2025, but uh, Sarah, big shout out to her. Um, I think it's gonna go to a better home. There we go. It is 7.30 now, uh, it's getting a little bit dark outside, so we figured we'd better just come on home and call it quits. So about four hours of work, we sat down, got some pizza. I mean, why not? There's still a few books that were inside my bag, but we'll go ahead and get that in the coming days. Uh, probably in another couple trips, I think we'll be able to get it all banged out. The problem was when we came down south to grab something to eat, we hit an entire just blank pocket where there was no little libraries at all. And the closest ones were going to take anywhere from about 20 to 30 minutes to walk there. So we're like, well, we're already headed towards home. Let's go ahead and call it a night. And especially there's thunderstorms looming. So well, I'll see you in the next day. All right, we're on day two. It is 1.45. We're getting ready to hit the road, and Kelly's feeling ambitious. She decided to get her backpack, and so she's grabbing the remainder of the books that I had. So now I've got 10 books inside my bag. She has four inside hers. There's nine locations in German Village alone, and which we're always happy to go through German Village. And then there's another four or five in Franklinton, which is a little bit more of a distance for us to travel, but we figured might as well see if we can do it all one fell swoop. We'll see how it goes. Yesterday was a lot of work and we only got about seven, but it was real scattered. Whereas with German Village, it's, they're closely put together. There's quite a few of them in big batches. So it should probably go a little quicker today, but we'll see. All right. Okay, first location, it is at Jackson and Grant. And I'm gonna get Kelly to load me up with a book as usual. Get one of them big ones. Ah, oh, here we go. This one actually was a uh, very good one. Uh, a literal Chinese translation illustrated encyclopedia. This is by Kevin Bruce. Big shout out to Kevin here. He actually got featured over on Maximilia at one point, uh, one of my favorite channels. There we go. Going to a good home. Okay, I'm at the corner of Sycamore and Briggs. And I'm going to pull from Kelly's backpack. She's got a really large book. So this one is The Lost Empire by James R. Morgan III. He actually uh, contributed this to a Lulu uh, video that we did a long while back. But uh, this one actually is a little different than the other ones here. So, and boom. Right on the top. Real quick side note here. I have to interrupt. This is actually after I had recorded this specific segment here the lost empire is officially gone the very next day my wife and i just happened to walk through that neighborhood she was curious if it was picked up we looked inside it was gone completely so this is definitely very encouraging to see some of these books going out into circulation and getting into more readers hands which this is good this is great this is one of the reasons why i want to get these off the shelves and help you guys out Okay, I'm at Reinhard and Washington now. We kind of got a little lost at first. It helps when you click on the app, on the actual map itself of the location, it'll show it to you. Kelly's gonna grab me a book, something nice and heavy. Oh Lord, that felt good. Ooh, good one, here we go. Hand of an Angel, good friend of mine, Mark Brownless, uh, read his books, highly recommend. You ever into any kind of good thrillers slash horror? Good stuff. Um, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and slip this in. Looks like a lot of kids' books in here. Ooh, there we go. That's an old school one right there. 
hop on pop. Oh my gosh, I think I own those ones. Look at there's some other books here too. Looks like Gary Paulson must be getting out there. The companion to Liar Liar. Yeah. Good selection in here. Yeah, it's almost like I think there must have been someone who had like a whole collection of these things. Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Nice. Just pays to go and visit some of these things. You get these books for free here, folks. Okay, I'm at the corner of Washington and Siebert. We literally just, it wasn't even two minutes ago, we were over at the other location, so getting, oh, here we go. Jordan Ring. I actually met Jordan through Archangel Inc. I'm not sure if Jordan still works with Archangel Inc. Great guy. Good book. I'm going to go ahead and toss this in. Ooh, got some Frida. Yeah, the ever popular Frida McFadden. Here we go. Look at this. Do you, have you read this one before? Oh, yeah. I've read all of them. Wow. See, look. Untapped treasure troves. You know, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to put this up here like that. That way it showcases it a little more. Perfect. Just made it over to Reeb and Parsons. My wife and I, we stopped and grabbed some something to eat over at $2 Radio Headquarters. Fantastic. But this is at the Reeb Center. I'm not really sure what it is, but it looks something very family-oriented, probably like a youth center or something. And Kelly's gonna get a book out here. So here's a perfect one. This is actually by Keith Wheeler. And actually he showcased my brother's name and my name. This was a gift uh, when we did a Fiverr collaboration about a couple of years ago. It, love you to death, Keith, but I think this is gonna do better here at this youth center, which they don't have very many books. So looks like they might need a couple. We'll go ahead and prop that up there. I'm gonna resist putting in more books because I feel like we should just should spread the wealth, but Good spot to put this. All right, so we're at the corner of Morrill and Brook. Go figure, another kid's thing. And uh, yeah, it looks like it's another kid's book thing. So Kelly's actually gonna pull out another book. And oh Lord, I can use it because this backpack, I swear, it seems like it's getting heavier even though it's getting lighter. Great, if it's thick. Oh, there we go. Good friend of mine, SD Houston. Shannon, I actually did a comparison video of different um, types of paperbacks just like this one and I said this was actually the original idea was to get this book out into the world and so you can see there's plenty of children's books and for whatever reason some people don't understand DVDs are not books what are you doing with your life so here we go we're just gonna go ahead and showcase hers right here on top of the chicken one so good luck hopefully it finds a good home not even a few blocks down. Uh, this is on the corner of 6th and Welch. Uh, this is actually kind of a nice one. They, they de decorated theirs. So this is kind of cool. Here we go. Kelly's going to give me... Ah, Whalians. This one's uh, by Darren Powis. Darren's been a big supporter here of the channel. Um, he actually sent this as part of a print-on-demand comparison series. And I believe this was a Lulu printed book. Very, very nice quality and such. But let's go ahead. We're going to slip it on in here. Look at that. Take a book, leave a book. This one's actually probably the fanciest one I've seen yet. All right, not to take away from Queen Bee Moms, but we're just gonna go ahead and put that one right there like that. So then when people walk by, they get to see his book. Boom. In route to our next place, I actually found myself here at the crossroads of Fourth and Mythoff, and well, we found another spot, and uh, this isn't even listed on their map, so it's kind of cool as we're going exploring and discovering this. This means that my backpack gets a little lighter a lot quicker. So let's go ahead and pull out one of the books. All right, this is my old buddy Kevin McGuire, a longtime supporter of my channel and such. Such a cool guy. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and slip his book right on into here. So let's, let's move the uh, Weddings magazine there. And we're just going to go ahead and prop that one up right there. Very good. Hopefully it finds a good home. You know, my wife and I walk around a lot in these Columbus neighborhoods. Favorite place to go through is German Village. It has so many really cool structures, but we've walked past this place a couple of times. It's on the corner, well, near Thurman and 4th Street, but uh, it looks like they actually have a half this place for sale. If Actually, let me just turn around. So if you happen to be in the market for a new house, there's half a duplex. All right, next book. All right, so this one actually is from Jenna O'Malley, Bound by Vengeance in Mind. Actually, I picked this up. I think the first year I was with AuthorTube Writing Conference. Uh, the original organizers of Jenna and S.D. Houston, Shannon Houston, put together AuthorTube Writing Conference, and I ended up picking up this book because she was so nice, and I thought I'd be supportive. So let's go ahead and give it a good home. There we go. 
Beautiful. I love how they really dress up some of these. They look really nice. All right, not even a couple blocks away from where I left off here. Uh, we are now at Redbud Alley and City Park Avenue. I'm just getting heading up City Park Avenue and we end up finding this other one. So Kelly's got me hooked up with The Changeling. This is by Arista Holmes. I actually did a paperback comparison series back in 2023, last year. And uh, she was very helpful in getting this whole thing. And this is actually the other book I was planning on getting out along with Susan Montgomery's and SD Houston. So let's give it a good home. There we go. Nice. This was a pleasant surprise. It wasn't even on the map. Man, I tell you, I, I sometimes I don't even know where the heck I'm at. I'm just following instructions on a map, and uh, we're so at, we're right now at City Park Avenue in Sycamore, and oddly enough, we got another place that is for sale. Um, so if you're looking for a place that has a little library out front, then uh, this is probably for you. So let's pull out another book. Oh Lord, my upper back is <laughs> it's feeling a little sore right now. Oh, good one. All right, so here's one for my boy Nader Sabri, Ready, Set, Growth Hack. And uh, we're going to find a good home for it. And Nader actually personalized this book to me. So I ended up pulling out the personalized portion so I could keep it for myself, put it in a scrapbook. But now we're going to find a good home for Nader's book. Here we go. Another very well kept um, box here. Got a few good books. We're just going to kind of just turn this one right there so it grabs people's attention and we'll slip it right back in. So it's already after five o'clock. We're already back home. I had about two books left inside my backpack. We figured if we're coming back towards an area like we're like, screw it, let's go ahead and just get restocked up. We're going to probably head back out and hit another little small pocket before we end of the day. But uh, I'm going to take a break because I am sweaty and getting tired. It's about 5.40. We're gonna probably hit like a few more places here before I call it a night. And I don't think it's gonna take us too long. We're gonna get some groceries and hopefully relax for the evening. Okay, I'm on the corner of Rich and Skidmore, Franklinton. Uh, I have my reservations about coming into this neighborhood. Got pockets of good and pockets of bad. Right now it seems like it's a good area. But uh, Kelly's found one here. And I'm gonna get her to pull out a book from here. We're getting down to the last of it, believe it or not. In fact, we might actually end up with no more books when we're done with this leg. Oh, great. This is a good time to go ahead and plug my buddy, Kevin McGuire's books. Rather than putting them separate, I mean, they're book one and book two. You might as well go ahead and just put them here. So, just kind of fix a few of these up here. Wow, that, that book's seen better days. And... There we go. So we've got the two books there. So the next location was actually at Mount Carmel. It's like an emergency room library. So it looks like I gotta go indoors and I don't wanna have to ask permission and get people to sign releases. So I'm just gonna go in and see if this is where I donate the book. Um, we'll see. So I'll report back as soon as I'm back out. Okay, I wasn't too far off, actually. I ended up going in and they had security and such, and I actually had to give them my backpack, empty my pockets, everything. And this was just to go see the free little library. And I, I, apparently he said, I'm technically not supposed to be coming in. He's like, but I'm just not gonna make a big deal about it. He's like, you're not causing a scene. He's like, just don't linger too long. So I'm like, okay, perfect. I went in, it was like a waiting room, and they essentially had the same thing like all the other neighborhood ones do, although, <laughs> like the plastic door was broken off on one side. I ended up leaving Sean Cannell's YouTube Secrets. Uh, great dude, former guest, love him. Fantastic read, highly recommend it, but I've already got it on ebook, so I'm like, let me go ahead and donate this. So hopefully someone enjoys it inside the ER and maybe pick up something new. It was a little bit better because there was a lot of used and worn magazines and books and kids books so i think this one will probably shake things up i probably should have dropped up the kids books there but i'm not dealing with the security guard again he he was he was fairly terse taking his job pretty seriously and i told him if i gotta leave please let me know and he's like no you're good all right well on to the next one all right now i'm at hawks at broad street and uh found another place boy it's getting hot out here i'm telling you and it's getting later in the day you're kidding me all right kelly's gonna pull out a book 
Got to admit, we've passed through some very interesting parts of uh, Columbus. Oh, here's, here's a good one. Diana Gladney's The One Right Video. Fantastic read. Make sure that you pick this up. Diana's a good friend of mine. All right. All right, I'm on Bellows near Dakota, and uh, this is in Franklinton, and whew, we've seen some uh, sketchy neighborhoods so far, patches at least. I know Franklinton is trying to revitalize the area. Uh, they're definitely doing pretty good in this neighborhood. But uh, I got this one by Monique Joyner Seedlack. This is uh, one of her first hits, Seven African Powers, the Orishas. So the cool thing is Mojo's getting the only book inside this little library. And you know, at this point, I think there's two other locations and it kind of went into a seedy neighborhood. So maybe we should just go ahead and get the rest of our books and stick it in here because it looks lonely, doesn't it? There we go. So. Here's one of the ones I did with Fiverr, so that was actually a ghost-ridden one. And then here is one from Mal and Jill Cooper. Help my Facebook ad suck. A little older, probably a little more outdated, but gives everybody something to choose from inside this little library. So, hey, backpacks are pretty much almost empty at this point. All right, it's after 7-Eleven. Uh, the last stop was the last stop, uh, thankfully. I had a handful more books, but I think uh, they're, they're, they're children's books. I think I'm probably gonna find someone I can specifically give those ones to. I've got additional ones I'm probably gonna take to half price books uh, because honestly, I, I don't need to put you know some of these books out there. The whole point of getting out there for this walk was to give some indie authors some exposure they wouldn't have otherwise gotten. And these uh, free, these uh, little free libraries, as they call them, it's just, gosh, an unending resource. And the funny thing is my wife and I are talking about it as we're coming back and thinking about all the different neighborhoods we can hit, or hit around the Columbus area. I mean, shoot, there was one area that had easily, I'd say, 12 to 15 different free libraries. We would probably spend, I would say, three to four hours in that area. Another area around Columbus as well had about another dozen, probably a little less than that. But yeah, it's, it's been a very exciting adventure. So I just wanted to get my thoughts and uh, wrap things up. I really didn't think I'd be doing a third day, but after working out for a little bit, it's just beautiful out in Ohio right now. And I've got a lot more books on my shelves. Uh, so uh, it was kind of nice to pull some of them off there and let's see if we can go find them a good home. So I've got about 10 places mapped out, but we're just trying to figure out if we want to drive to the area and then walk from there or walk all the way over there and all the way back, which we're looking at round trip two and a half hours easily. And that's best case scenario. So let's see how things go. All right, we found our first location. By the way, we drove. Yeah, we drove all, all the way to this location and we're gonna walk the rest of the distance. But here is our first stop. It's off of Franklin Avenue. Kelly's gonna dig out a book for me. Nathan Shively, by the way, Columbus author. I uh, met Nathan a while ago, but Nathan, we're gonna see about putting this into some, someone's hands that will actually read it because this has been collecting dust on my shelf. Look at all those nice books. Okay, so I'm at Denbridge. Very nice neighborhood, by the way. Beautiful, well taken care of. Seems a little older, but at any rate, uh, I'm gonna get Kelly to pull out a book. Give me a good heavy one. <laughs> oh yes, here we go. Audrey Carlin, I uh, actually interviewed her a couple years ago. It was uh, when Kendall Vella actually had first launched. Uh, sweetheart of a gal. She sent this to me, gave an autograph. She even sent autograph copies over to my mom. Uh, so, so super of her, but we're gonna find this a good home now. That's nice. Oh yeah. We got some other books here too. Holy moly, this has been one heck of a hike. There is none of them that are close together. It looks like they're close, but they're not really. But here we are off Park View Avenue and coming up here. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna reach into Kelly's backpack and take one of the books out of hers. All right, this one actually is Dax Xander, Sea Patrol, Hand in the Moon. This is by Noah Knox Marshall. Thank you so much, Knox, I appreciate this. It looks like it's gonna go to a good home. Very nice neighborhood, by the way. We're just gonna go ahead and put that there, right there like that. And time to move on to the next place. 
Okay, I'm at Bellwood now. Uh, still such a nice neighborhood up here. It's been a delightful walk. Perfect day to do it on. Kelly's gonna grab one of the heavy books out of my backpack now. Alrighty. Freeze Frame by Tyler Bochamp. Uh, great to have this one here, buddy. I think it might be Bochamp. I could probably be all wrong on that. So let's go ahead and find it at home. There we go. Okay, on the corner of East Broad and Merkel. Still beautiful neighborhoods. Oh my gosh. I'm going to Kelly to pull out one of the big books. She gets the next one. There we go. This one's from Audrey Levy. My wife and I got to meet Audrey out in LA. Sweetheart of a gal. And we're going to find a good home for it. And we're going to put that right there. Okay, I am on North Cassidy now, another great neighborhood. I'm gonna go ahead and take from Kelly's backpack this time so she has a little bit of a lighter load. Be right back. And here's a longtime supporter here, Tom McAuliffe. Big shout out to Tom, by the way. He is a prolific author, and we're gonna find a good home for this. Looks like this is a hop in space. We got prime real estate. Okay, I already made it over to the Columbia Avenue location. It uh, looks almost like a girls' school, I think it is, maybe? It's Columbus School for Girls. It's uh, Columbus School for Girls. And funny thing is, actually, I just passed a couple friends, uh, Jeff and Susie. I actually used to work with them when I was a personal trainer. So it was cool kind of crossing paths with them. But they were getting ready to come home. They were coming home from a trip from D.C. So I was like, eh, I'm not going to keep you guys because I'm really sweaty right now. All right, next book up is going to be from Celinda LaBruce. Celinda actually... Uh, she and I, I did a couple of writing sprints a long time ago, but uh, let's go ahead and give this a good home. Wow. It's another place that they have, uh, looks like a blanket in there. Very nice. Okay, we're at the Elm location and very nice box, very well kept. So we're gonna drop one off from Kelly's backpack. Okay, here's one from Terry Bryant. Uh, Terry actually was such a gem. I actually ended up getting two versions of this one. This one's the updated one. So we're going to go ahead and put this into a good home and hopefully someone will pick that up here soon. It looks like Kelly actually found herself one here. I'm take this. Gotta love it. Red Dale Avenue. Yeah, I'm home. <laughs> Last location. This one is off of, oh my gosh, <laughs> where are we at Kelly? <laughs> I don't, I don't know. We're just, we're going to get the, uh, book out of her backpack and apparently she's regretting getting the uh, other book at the other location so we're going to ditch both of them. Hey, well, at least Kelly got it, kept it in circulation, but uh, I like this one. It's really neat. But we are going to give Tom McAuliffe another spot here for Nuts, the Life and Times of General Tony McAuliffe. So there we go, Tom. Big shout out to Tom. Look at that. He's got prime placement. It's going to be the first thing people see. Okay, we're, our adventure isn't completely done. Since we drove and parked somewhere, we're going to need to backtrack, get ourselves some food, and then jump back into the car and head home. But it's already been, uh, what, a few hours now, Kelly? Yeah, it's, it's 7.22, so we've been gone from the house for about three hours, so not bad. I think we covered some pretty good ground, though. More details about Little Free Libraries, visit littlefreelibrary.org. While we're talking about libraries, did you know how to get your books into libraries? Check out this next video about Draft to Digital and the various libraries you can reach using their platform. I'll see you there.